It was nice to be back here at Roy. The last time I was here, uh, this place was in flood. Anyway, it's nice to be here. And I want to read a few verses from John chapter 1 in the Bible. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended or understood it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to be a witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but his John was not that light, but was sent to be a witness of that light. There was a true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So the Lord Jesus Christ created everything, as we read in the first uh, couple of verses here. The same was in the beginning with God, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made. As speaking of the Lord Jesus Christ, who's the creator of this whole universe. You see, he created you and I as well. And unfortunately, we've gone astray. We've gone away from God because of our sin. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Because of that, we're going down to hell, that place of judgment. But God does not want us to be there. And so he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die on the cross and shed his precious blood, that you and I could receive forgiveness for our sins. You see, we've created the problem, but God has come up with a remedy. God has come up with this plan, and it was planned from eternity past, that he would send his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and die on that cross, shed his precious blood, as a ransom for all to be testified in due time. So he has paid the price for all those who will trust him as their own personal saviour. Because of our sin, as we said, we've been separated from God. And we're facing the judgment of God in hell. If you were to die this afternoon, where would you be? Would you be in heaven? Or would you be in that place called hell? There's no need to go there. God has made a provision for you and for me that we might be saved, that we might be in heaven through faith in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. So, if you come in repentance this afternoon, in other words, acknowledge that you are a sinner before God, as we said, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then you must put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He shed his precious blood for you and for me, that we might receive forgiveness for our sins. Now, just before we, uh, we stop here, we want to give you an invitation to come along to hear more of the gospel, like this, the good news about the Lord Jesus Christ, about salvation, how we can have forgiveness for our sins, and it's at number 103 Percy Street here in Warwick. Number 103 Percy Street here in Warwick at 3.15 tomorrow afternoon. Everyone's welcome to come along. And hear more words, the way you can be saved through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, 103 Percy Street, here in Rowing, 3.15 tomorrow. I'd like to see you there. Come and hear words, whereby thou mightest be saved.